Hey guys, Beats Air Plumbing here, and today I'm here with my 2000s Vortens Vienna toilet. So, uh, me and OCC Plumbing and Restorations actually got this toilet, or at least the bowl, at a plumbing store. Uh, we had gotten permission to go through the dumpster, and we grabbed out a couple toilets, and this is one of them. It did have a seat on it, which is right here, but I took it off. Uh, it did not have a tank. This is actually a tank I got for free at a Habitat for Humanity Restore. Um, the date in the tank is uh, 2009, so I'm sure the bowl's not too far off from it. This is obviously a 2000s toilet bowl, so I didn't couldn't really find a date anywhere underneath of it. There are some numbers underneath the rim, but um, if I find the date after this video, I will add it into the title. But uh, this tank, when I got it, didn't really have any parts. It had a flush valve and a flapper, but the flapper was missing a chain. So I just went ahead and threw this fill valve in there because it fills pretty quickly. And yes, that is a Kohler Simron handle, but I just bent it to fit. So, uh, and as y'all can see, the water line is not set to the proper height. That is because that flapper in there is for like a 3.5 toilet. Uh, when you flush it, it'll stay completely open until the entire tank is drained. And that makes the flush last forever. So I set the water line about halfway up the tank. It still flushes fine. And I will do some flushes with the water up to the water line. So. Let me go ahead and set you on my tripod and I'll give you all some flushes. So, and I do not have a tank lid for it, or at least I don't think I have any tank lids for this toilet laying around, which is not a big deal, but hopefully eventually I can get one. So, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and lock the focus and I'll give you all a flush. Here we go. These toilets honestly aren't that bad. Uh, I believe the trapway is glazed or fully glazed. I don't know for sure. I will check afterwards in the video, but uh, when I was cleaning it out, when I uh, was stuffing the rag up in the trapway, it felt glazed as far as I could reach, So, which is nice. Uh, I like glazed trapways. They also allow for better performance, but here is another flush. There are a few of these toilets installed uh, around where I live. There actually aren't very many though. Like these are pretty rare and I've actually never seen one until I got one. And then a few weeks later I went somewhere. Uh, it was actually a Taco Bell and they had a Vortens Murano, which is the first time I've ever seen like one of these type of Vortens toilets. But I guess in other places like Houston, they're very common. So now I'm gonna give you all more of a close up flush like this and it'll stay focused. Here is a flush. Now the trapways on these are actually a pretty decent size. I thought they would be a little bit smaller, but for the most part, it's got a pretty large trapway. So I can only assume this toilet will perform pretty well. Um, this is honestly a toilet I probably wouldn't mind having in my bathroom. If it was comfort height, that would be better, but uh, it is standard height. So now I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the tank the rest of the way to the water line, and then I'll give you all another flush. So this will take a second here. Y'all are more than welcome to skip through this part too, so. It is almost full to the water line. It is a tad bit windy out today, so I apologize if y'all hear uh, any wind blowing through the phone, but uh, here is another flush with the full tank. As y'all can see, the flush is a little more aggressive, not too much more, but another thing that's really cool, um, the way this trapway design is designed, it actually allows it to have a continuous flush, if that makes sense. There's enough water power going through into the mouth of the trapway. It'll just keep flowing, if that makes sense. It doesn't fill back up and then go to siphon again. It's just a continuous flush, which is actually really cool. I like how that's designed. So now I'm gonna give you all a flush from this angle so you can kind of see the front flusher jets in action. And here is a flush. So this toilet actually has really good bowl rinse all around. The rim jets are decently sized. Hopefully it's not too dirty underneath there. And if it is, I apologize. But, and then there's those big jets in the front. And that's what, um, that's what allows that much water to flow through here. It's those large rim jets. And I can actually fit my fingers up inside the rim jets too, as y'all can see, which is pretty cool. So this thing 
definitely has decent bull range. So I really don't see any spots that the bull, like the rim misses, but let me do more of a, a close up flush like this, just so we can see more of the rim jets in action, I guess. So here is another flush. So yeah, overall this toilet actually does have pretty good bull rinse, so uh, I'm sure if I did like a dirt test or a dye test, it would probably pass. But um, yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave y'all's comments down below, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.